Hello, welcome to the next year of Beer Blog. Uh, we've got two beers this week to try from the Buxton Brewery in Derbyshire. Uh, we've got more top, they're 3.5% session beer, and we've got a very different beast altogether, Axe Edge, that's a 7% or 6.8%. They describe it as their double IPA. Now, there aren't many British producers making a double IPA in that style these days, so uh, we're going to try and see what it's like. We've also got another first, uh, we're using a Stella Artois Chalice this week to, uh, to taste the beer out of. You know, please don't think that I'm the person who stole this from the pub. Um, I had a look in the cupboard in the kitchen in the back of the office. This was in there, but you know what? It's a perfect beer for tasting glass. Lovely curved sides, little short stem. It's got the little the griffage, the scratch in the bottom of the, of the bowl to keep the carbonation going. That's enough about the glass. Let's try the beer and see what it's like. These are, these are pre-release bottles, so they're not properly labelled yet. The uh, Buxton Brewery, they've been going about 18 months. They've just started bottling. Some of their beers are, are in general circulation at the moment. Uh, their Axe Edge has just won a uh, gold uh, medal at a local beer festival as well. So this is the More Top, the 3.5% session beer. Really nice, really light, sort of clean, fresh fruitiness. That's absolutely textbook English session ale. It's just got a really, really nice, light, clean bitterness to the finish, so you get a, a really a lovely sort of fresh, slightly citrusy hop aroma, a really clean, straw-like, pale malt palette, and then the finish, nice and dry, nice and bitter, makes you want to have another mouthful, and actually you can at 3.5%, it's a session ale. You know, the idea is that you can throw a few of these down in a session, you won't feel too much the worse for wear the next morning. Mm. But obviously the same can't be said of Axe Edge, 6.8%. I'm just going to pour a little of this because I, you know, I hope to drive away from uh, drive away from work. A little bit paler, a little bit of a hot haze on it there as well. Uh, that might be, it could be due to two things. It could be a little bit of chill haze. Sometimes when you brew beers with lots of hops, you, you tend to just get a little bit of hop haze on them as well. Ah, oh, and that's. <laughs> That's just a massive, that's a real sort of riot of tropical fruit. Yeah, there's, there's sort of mangoes and, and a lot of citrus going on in there. A little bit of sort of a background sort of pine as well. Mm. Much bigger on the palate immediately. You get a massive sweet mouthfeel to it. Lovely sort of rounded smooth finish. The bitterness is, is, you know, weirdly, you perceive the bitterness as being much less because you've got the sweetness to balance it out. That is actually, there's a phrase that I use to describe beers like this. The phrase is ruinously drinkable. And whenever, I, whenever you sort of see me writing or using the phrase ruinously drinkable, what that means is that at some point I've drunk far too much of the beer and uh, I've, I've, I've experienced that ruinous drinkability to its, to its fullest capacity. So Axe Edge is a beer that I'm going to describe as ruinously drinkable. I'm not going to drink it to my ruin at this point. Um, I'm going to finish this mouthful because it's a lovely beer. And uh, I'm going to say thanks for dropping by. Look out for these beers. Uh, Buxton Brewery, they're doing a lot of interesting stuff at the moment. It's sort of my, my tip for the top for this year. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.